I know. How come my hair's not sticking up anymore? It's just a fight, Mom. But... All right, this isn't working. No. I was trying to look like Mad Uncle Jack. Oh. But now. Okay. I'm just boring me. Oh. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the kids' table, where we pick a favorite book, pick a favorite page, and don't pick each other's noses. These are really squeaky chairs. Um, today we are doing um, a book that is a favorite of Mackenzie's since childhood, The House, A House Called Awful End by Philip Ardog. Well done. Ardog. It was the first book I read willingly when I was little. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it came out in 2000 and so I would have been about uh, seven, I guess. This is a trilogy and what happens is Eddie, uh, Eddie's parents become quite ill with a very strange disease that causes them to turn yellow and smell like hot water bottles. So, um, really crusty too. Yeah, crinkly. You've, you've had that. That's just age. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I have so much to look forward to. Anyway, um, so Eddie is sent by his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Dickens, to go live with Mad Uncle Jack and even Madder and Aunt Maud. Who I loved because I loved her little uh, stoat, though it's like a little, the stuffed weasel <laughs> named Malcolm. He, Malcolm was my favorite character when yeah. I was seven. I thought he was the best character ever. He didn't, I, I don't think he said a whole lot, but he <laughs> meant everything to me. <laughs> yeah, that, he's, he's, Kenzie, what is a favorite part of this awesome book? One day Hank was out in the fields, watering his goat. Not that goats need watering, but the history books are very clear on this point, so I thought I should mention it. And thinking about beards. Perhaps he was thinking about beards because goats have beards. Perhaps it was f far more people had beards back then because no one h had invented a decent razor blade yet, or they had, and hadn't told anyone else about it. <laughs> Whatever the reason, Hank was thinking about beards when he stopped to pluck the single flower from the grass. <laughs> it was so intense! I know! It's what happens when you're no. watering goats. <laughs> so when Eddie's aunt and uncle come to pick him up, they take him, or are supposed to take him, da, 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 to the house called Awful End. My favorite, um, one of my favorite parts of the book is when Eddie's parents realized that, oh, maybe that he could come back home. We'll send word to Mad Uncle Jack to bring him back home, smiled Mrs. Dickens. Little did she and Mr. Dickens know that their dear beloved son had never even reached Awful End, but was languishing in St. Horrid's home for grateful orphans. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. For a 20-year-old book. <laughs> yeah. There was a book in Eddie's cell, sorry, room, in the orphanage, written on the front in big gold letters were the three words, the, good, and book, which if you put them together says book good the. <laughs> if you put them together in the correct order, they say the good book, which is what I should have done in the first place. As it was, this was the book that was going to help Eddie escape, but not until a later episode and not until we find out how he ended up in St. Horrid's in the first place. Okay, so why don't you give a little why kids should read this book or parents should read this book with their kids. Uh, it's really fun and cute and it's, I mean, even though I didn't read very well or probably know how to read very mm. well when I was a kid, I stuck with it somehow and I just thought it was, and maybe it's because we grew up on darker humor or... Who uh, raised you? Uh, well, I, I was hoping wolves at that point, I think. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it was, it's always, I always thought that it was, when I look back at it and I, and I think about when I was reading it, I always had, I remember having fun reading mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So I think what point you're making is that it's a really good book for reluctant readers. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess I was reluctant, but I think I was more avoidant, so... For avoidant readers. Okay. So, A House Called Awful End Can by Philip Ardog.